and welcome back to Rowdy Rounds. I'm Rowdy. Thank you for coming. It's been a while. Had a lot going on, but I'm back. Going to talk just a little bit about the uh, conviction on Kim Potter and the shooting of Dante Wright. I don't really have much to say about uh, sentencing or you know right or wrong. Because, honestly, I see this as a training problem. Uh, seeing how I was Navy law enforcement for a period of time, I guess that's not too surprising. When you look at the situation, uh, this is a police officer who was actually a training officer that grabbed the wrong weapon and deployed it. It's a training issue. This is an issue, you train, you train, you train, you talk, you train, you do your quals monthly, every six months, however you want to call it, and that's the end of it. Bad idea, bad, bad idea. Especially when you're carrying two different projectile weapons, one being a taser and the other one being a handgun. Anybody who's ever played computer games, been part of the computer culture, or the gaming culture, especially the younger kids, uh, well know of a game called Hogan's Alley. It has a series of shoot, don't shoot targets. Hogan's Alley actually got its start in um, competitive shooting and in police training, where you have various po targets popping up and you either need to shoot that target or not shoot it. The point being, uh, you don't shoot a target that doesn't need to be shot. We need to step up training. The world has changed and our training has not changed with it. Uh, we need a Hogan's Alley, and I don't mean a game, I mean an actual space where somebody using their actual sidearm that they carry and a possibly modified taser um, set up to do the Hogan's Alley. You can actually use a round in a real firearm called a foresight round and what it does is it puts a laser beam down the barrel. We need to have that set up so that when the trigger's pulled it will deploy that laser in a Hogan's Alley scenario. We also need a taser set up for a different style of laser and we need detection routines on this setup so that the taser is detected differently than the handgun. And this needs to be a weekly qualification or at least a weekly practice with monthly qualifications. Reason being is you need to incorporate muscle memory in which weapon you want to deploy. Because if your automatic go-to is your handgun, that's the one you're going to reach for, even if you're trying to deploy the taser. In a stressful situation, unfortunately, that's what will happen. And it did happen in the case of Dante Wright. We can do better. That's it. That's my line of thought. Thank you for watching. My name's Rowdy. That's my rant. Everybody have a great day.